poem to my litter. My genes are in mice, and not in the banal way that man's old genes are in the beast's. My doctors split my tumors up and scattered them into the bones of twelve mice. We give the mice poisons I might, in the future, want for myself. We watch each mouse like a crystal ball. I wish it was perfect, but sometimes the death we see doesn't happen when we try it again in my body. My tumors are old, older than mice can be. They first grew in my flank a decade ago. Then they went to my lungs and down my femurs and into the hives in my throat that hatch white cells. The mice only have a tumor each in the leg. Their tumors have never grown up, uprooted and moved, learned to sleep in any bed the vast body turns down. Before the tumors can spread, they bust open the legs of the mice who bleed to death. Next time, the doctors plan to cut off the legs in the nick of time so the tumors will spread, but I still have both my legs. To complicate things further, mouse bodies fight off my tumors. We have to give the mice AIDS so they'll harbor my genes. I want my mice to be just like me. I don't have any children. I name them all Max. First they were Max 1, Max 2, but now they're all just Max. No playing favorites. They don't know they're named, of course. They're like children you've traumatized and tortured, so they won't let you visit. I hope, Maxes, some good in you is of me. Even my suffering is good, in part. Sure, I swell with rage, fear, the stuff that makes you see your tail as a bar on the cage, but then the feelings pass. And since I do absolutely nothing, my pride, like my fur, all gone, nothing happens to me. And if a whole lot of nothing happens to you, Max's, has peace, which is what we want. Trust me.